What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. About to beat down here. Sunday afternoon. Maybe late morning. I don't know. I don't keep up with the time. John, this one's for you. McBean Scottish Fitness. So, gonna do a little walk. Pretty much the same one I did last week. Now, I don't walk like I used to. I used to walk every day. Rain, shine, <coughs> heat, cold, tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanoes, end of the world, all that stuff. I used to walk every day. Morning, noon, nights. But I've since slacked off. So, walking here is a little bit different than my old neighborhood. That could be one reason. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna maybe get out more here because technically, yeah, the house is not perfect and the yard is not perfect. And there's a lot of not perfect stuff about this new place we bought, but, and the location, but the location is also kind of better because it's on my, one of my main bicycle routes. And I thought, well, I'm right here on my main bicycle route. I'll probably start riding again. But so far, no. <clears throat> so anyway, it is technically a better spot as far as my bike rides and walking kind of goes. Kind of. But I'm just not utilizing it yet. But that don't mean that I won't. It may just take me a while. You know, when you stop doing something, especially something like this where you're kind of going out into the community, like cycling and walking and stuff, sometimes when you stop doing that, it's hard to get back into it because you're finding reasons. Well, I'm uncomfortable. It's weird. Uh, people are watching me here. I haven't done it a long time and I don't want to do it no more. I don't know. You come up with a bunch of excuses. But, hey, the good news is, is that I did this last week. And I'm doing it this week. So... Hey, that's a step in the right direction, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's difficult for me now because I breathe a little harder. Not used to moving. Not used to moving and grooving anymore, guys. I have said before that working out's the easy part. It's getting away from your house. When you work out at home, it's getting away from your house and and doing these walks or doing these bike rides or doing other things 
that's where the challenge is. And when you work out, you're safe at home, chilling in your house, comfortable. You get out here and you're just kind of, you're away. So sometimes it's not easy to, to be away. Even though it's good for you. So, the high school graduation was last night. Luckily, the, the rain uh, went away earlier in the day because it was raining pretty good. I think. Like, I don't know. It rained so much. I don't remember. But I do know it, it rained. And uh, so, another group of kids off into the world. I wish them all the best of luck. And you're going to need it. Because definitely things change real quick. <clears throat> I don't know if all of you out there can remember being in school and then getting out of school. But I know I had it pretty easy. I had a good childhood and uh, you know you go from having a, a good pampered lifestyle to you know making your own way and if you're like me you got married out of high school had kids a year later a kid a year later and then another kid two years later with a house mortgage and all this good stuff it's a uh, it's quite the eye-opener guys it's not easy and uh, not just those things but all of the goods and bads that come along with those things Definitely, definitely a, a huge contrast to the childhood that you just experienced. Probably in most cases. I know some people didn't have the greatest childhood. But most people, most people have a great childhood or at least a good childhood. So anyway, yeah, I can definitely tell that I don't get in activities like I used to, obviously. And uh, and you've heard me talk about having problems with my breathing lately, as you can obviously kind of hear. And it's probably partly in due is that how you say that? I don't know. To my lack of movement. Not just my weight gain, but the lack of movement. And when you get used to not moving, it is hard to break that habit. Very difficult. It is very, very easy to become complacent and lazy and find all the excuses in the world as to why you're doing it or not doing it. So if I compare myself now to say a year ago, now of course I haven't been not walking for a year yet, but this is only my fourth walk since 
October of 2023. So let's just go back a year. A year, I was smoking it out on my walks. No big deal. I could jog probably a mile, maybe a year ago. When I dropped some weight, I was wondering if I was able to jog again. I could literally jog, do a video, and talk while jogging. That's how much stronger and healthier my lungs and heart was. Huge difference. Not even... Not even joking. So, there's a huge difference between the way I am now and the way I was just a year ago and two years ago for sure. My genetics, my DNA, the way that I put on weight, extremely easy, uh, is not my fault. But, not putting up the good fight to make myself stay active is my fault. So, like as far as food, I can't eat much healthier, guys. In all honesty, I can't eat much healthier. You know, I try to think throughout the seven days of a week, what do I eat? And it's lean ground turkey, chicken, eggs, some fish, usually some shrimp. And sometimes I don't even have sides to go with that stuff. It's just maybe meats. Sometimes I have... A mixed vegetable vegetable medley kind of thing or green beans or Brussels sprouts something along them lines <clears throat> I drink water all the time here lately I found myself drinking just periodically, not every day, just periodically. Once in a while, I'll find myself drinking a Powerade. Maybe in the middle of my workout. And I have my French vanilla coffee, my one cup in the morning and one cup at night. And sometimes I don't have the cup at night. Once in a while, not very often. I don't sit around and eat junk food. Saturday is my only day that I will allow myself to do that. Junk food for me during the rest of the week would be sticks of beef jerky or a granola bar. And uh, I try to make sure I'm eating a granola bar that has some protein in it because a lot of them that you think you're eating you know, you think you're eating something kind of healthy. When in fact, most of the time they don't have maybe two or three grams of protein at best. And the rest is just a bunch of sugar. So I try to make sure if I eat a granola bar of some kind, that it at least has some kind of protein in it. So the secret... To being healthy is somewhat genetics, your DNA, your blood, your your you know your your type, your DNA, whatever, you know, that's part of it, definitely. But a larger part is up to you to uh, make happen. So I try not to make excuses. For the whole entire you know thing I do know that like I said I am easy to gain weight I don't even have to eat and I can still be pretty much this size and uh, 
I don't look much different from when I don't work out. From the 10 years I took off from working out, I don't look a whole lot different. <laughs> so, anyway. I would like to get my bike out and maybe get it, maybe tune it up a little bit and make sure everything's running good and everything. Maybe get a bike ride in at some point. I may do that. I find myself missing it sometimes. So, let's cross on over here. Well, I'm just about home, guys. Pretty good quick little walk. So remember, try not to make too many excuses. We do have some setbacks in our lives because just natural things like our DNA and stuff. But we can overcome a lot of that. A little bit of hard work, a little bit of effort on our parts. We can better ourselves a little bit every day. Well, guys, hope you appreciate the little walk and talk. And uh, hope I give you a little inspiration to get out and do something yourself. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. To the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Your incredible host. Get up, get out, get ran. Do it to it. We'll see you next time. Body beat down. Please, no dumping. Thank you. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it.